taken from the house of Mr. Ashel Pomeroy in Northampton, one plain muslin petticoat, one light chintz, one black satin cardinal cloak. Hi, my name is Emma, and this is a cardinal cloak. This robe is called a cardinal cloak because the color and shape are similar to that of a Catholic cardinal's robes. It's also where the cardinal, the bird, gets its name. For the first time you see it, you might not necessarily be thinking about church, you might be thinking about Little Red Riding Hood. And that's because in the story, Little Red Riding Hood is wearing a cardinal cloak. Even though we think of it maybe as associated with a little girl like Little Red Riding Hood, lots of adults wore cardinal cloaks and they were actually worn by both men and women. Even though cardinal cloaks drew their name from their color, we have record of cloaks in other colors still being referred to as a cardinal cloak. Cardinal cloaks were not just special because of their flashy color. They were special because they were rare. Many people on Northampton's Main Street would have been wearing a cloak, but having a cardinal cloak would set you apart. The more expensive cardinal cloaks were made out of broadcloth, which was woven on a wide loom. Which means that Northampton residents were probably importing the fabric from Europe because there weren't very many wide looms in the US in the 1700s. After the fabric was made, it was beaten and washed to the point where it could be cut without fraying, as you can see here. Cardinal cloaks were a great asset because they were really warm and they're really durable. Our example, like many historical ones, has a silk lining and a silk edging. The edging was practical because it would wear out first and replacing it was less expensive than replacing the whole silk lining. Cardinal cloaks were just one of the many types of cloaks that were popular during the 1700s, but by the beginning of the 1800s, they were starting to fall out of fashion. Indeed, it was said that by the 1830s, the only people who still wore them were old men who didn't care about the current fashions. This cardinal cloak that I'm wearing right now isn't a historical object. It was made for Historic Northampton by Quinn Burgess so that we can share the experience of wearing 1700s clothes with all of our visitors. And for this piece of clothing, that experience is kind of like wearing a giant blanket wherever you go.